Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today, I'm going to be putting to the test $1 makeup products from Miss A. Now, if you have no idea what Miss A, Miss A is a store where literally everything is $1. I previously filmed a video where I took you guys shopping with me, showed you guys around the store. So if you guys are interested in that, I will leave it linked down below. So I have everything I need for a full face. I want to put it to the test and I want to see if these $1 makeup products are good or not. So before we get started with this video, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up up also don't forget to subscribe so you can be part of the pdh family and don't forget to hit that little bell so i can notify you every single time i upload a new video you guys know that that helps you grow out a lot so without any further ado let's get started all right so we're gonna go ahead and get started i am so excited because i have so many new products here that look so good and i cannot believe they were just one dollar so first things first i picked up this aoa studio and aoa studio is the brand from miss a this is the wonder brow tinted brow pomade and it just honestly looks like your typical pomade nothing very special and it is pretty tiny but i mean it was a dollar so what can i say i'm going to be using the makeup shack t3 eyebrow brush this one has a spoolie and this way i can just do my brow so we're gonna just dip it in the pomade I think you just need a decent amount of product in the brush because if you take a little bit, you kind of just like get stuck in there. It's a little bit hard. But if you take a decent amount of the pomade, yeah, it glides on very smoothly. All right, we're gonna move on to concealer. And for this concealer, I'm a little bit scared because I typically don't reach for these types of concealers. And this is the Santee Super Blendable Concealer. Since it's a stick, it's gonna be pretty easy. I'm just gonna go in and just carve out the brows. Come on, Super Blended. That is so creamy. I'm a shook, bitch. I'm a shook. That glided on so easy. Now the trick question is, how is it going to blend? So now we're going to blend the product down and see how easy this blends. Oh my God. Why did that blend so easy? Oh my god, my brows look so good. To clean the brows, I feel like it's a really good concealer. We're not sure how this is going to work for the under eye area, but for the brows, I mean, come on. Look at my brows, guys. They look so good with the pomade and the concealer. Come on, $2 on brow and concealer. Oh my god, I'm a little shook right now. All right, let's move on. So, I typically, you guys know, if you guys watch all my videos, that I use concealer as a eyeshadow primer. Now, I saw, first of all, let me be honest, I saw this and I was like, oh, hell no, this is not going to work for the eyelid. It's just going to get streaky. It's going to be very messy. So then I found this, which is a Santi, same brand as the concealer, eye primer, long lasting eyeshadow base. This is what it looks like so we're going to just apply this to the eyelids all right now for eyeshadow guys i could have sworn i had the palettes in my makeup drawers but i decluttered my video room which is something that i didn't remember so i actually don't have the palettes anymore but there are some really good palettes if you go to the website or in store there are a palettes there's literally a palette that has nine shadows it's ten dollars guys ten dollars for nine shadows and the magnetic palette and it has a mirror it is a freaking steal and the eyeshadows are pretty good for ten bucks which is not bad i just didn't pick up another one because i was like i already have some at home so what's the point of picking up another one but little did i know i didn't have it anymore so for eyeshadow i'm going to be cheating a little bit and using this palette this one is from jazzy Cos cosmetics and she sent me this palette and it is gorgeous it's stunning so i was like you know what let me use her palette so i'm going to be using some of these shadows but i will be using this aoa studio velour eyeshadow that i picked up at miss a that is what it looks like it's kind of like a cream eyeshadow all right let's go in so i'm going to go in with my very first shade kind of like as a transition color i found these and you're supposed to put these underneath your eyes wait how do you apply this Okay, let's see. 
So let's move forward now that I put them on. Okay, now I'm going to attempt to apply the velour eyeshadow. This one is in Virgin 243. This is the shade of this one. And I'm gonna attempt to use a eyeshadow brush. I'm not sure how these will work or if they'll work better with my finger. So first we're gonna attempt with a brush on one side and then we'll do it with my finger on the other eye just so we can compare and you guys will see what method these work better with. So we're just going to apply it to the eyelid. I feel like I'm just swirling the product around instead of applying it on the eyelid. Now I'm gonna move in with my finger on this eyelid. Definitely, the finger, wow. All right, so this is what the eyeshadow looks like. I don't think it looks that bad. I might think the eyelid looks a little bit patchy. We're going to now move on to eyeliner. I got this Santi Well Liquid Eyeliner Waterproof. This is what it looks like. So this is what the eyeliner looks like. All right, so what I think about the eyeliner, I think for a dollar, it's not bad. Now we're gonna move on to something that I am so excited. Okay, so the last time I went to Miss A, the Miss A that I went to had no lashes in stock. Everything was sold out. And now apparently they have an adhesive and lashes. I was like, come on, Miss A, stepping it up. So this is the Super Strip Lash Adhesive, and it has a brush, which is something that I fell in love with. And these are the lashes. These are in the style Tori. I'm gonna take out the lashes. And before taking them out, I'm going to test out my mascara. This is the Muse Cosmetics Mascara Waterproof. So we're just gonna apply a very slight coat. And I can already tell, nope, I do not like this mascara. It's not separating my lashes. It's not adding volume or length. It's kind of just like slapping on the product to the lashes. So this, I can tell you off the bat, this mascara is not my favorite one. I don't like it just because again, like my lashes look the same. Okay, the lashes are getting nice and tacky. I'm going to apply the first one, which is this one. Oh wow, these lashes are not bad okay lashes are on okay so now for a primer guys i have already tried almost every primer from Miss a and none of the primers do anything for me so i didn't pick up a primer from Miss a because i already knew it wasn't going to work for me so i was like let's just not even try let's not even go there because it's not going to do anything for me so i am going to be using my elf poreless putty primer this is still a super inexpensive primer guys it is eight dollars in the elf website or at ulta highly recommend it. it is such a good primer it's only eight bucks so i'm going to be using this one and this is typically the primer that I always use on an everyday basis. Okay, so the primer is on, and now we're gonna move on to the part that I am the most excited about. They released a buildable satin foundation, and I am so excited to test this out. You guys have no idea. Now, I also picked up a Wonder Blender Mochi Soft AOA Studio. This one's $1.88 as well, but the other 88 cents go to the education foundation that they have. So we're gonna go on with Pure Beige, three or five pure beige is one that I'm going to be using. Here we go. Now this is not a full coverage, it's a buildable foundation. It doesn't claim to be full coverage, so I'm not mad at it. It does say buildable. So I'm gonna build it up to full coverage to see how this works. This foundation reminds me of a BB cream or a CC cream. It's not a full coverage foundation. It's pretty buildable. I don't think it's gonna get to full coverage, guys. I have added and added layers at this point and my freckles are still peeking through, which I don't mind. It just depends. You know, sometimes you want to go out to certain places and you might want a full coverage foundation or sometimes you might go to the beach and you want more of like a not so full coverage foundation and stuff like that. It just depends for the occasion, but I think I'm going to stop there because it's definitely not going to get to full coverage. This is where it's going to, this is the best coverage I'm going to get. So here are my thoughts about the foundation. The sponge is really good. I really like the sponge. I'm definitely going to keep on using this. I actually think I'm gonna use it even to kind of just like bake 
Underneath here, I really like that it has like that slant angle and also just kind of just get underneath and bake. I feel like this is going to be really good. Now the foundation, the packaging is really cute. I don't feel like it's bad for the price that it is. Now the coverage is not bad whatsoever. I feel like this is a foundation that you can use for like an everyday wear if you're a person that doesn't mind if you don't get full coverage. For me, I love my full coverage. And I don't think I'm going to lean towards this foundation as much just because it's not as full coverage as I want it to be. Now, you don't really need a lot of full coverage and you like to do a little bit more like on the natural side or you just want to apply a little bit of foundation, you know, I recommend it. It's not bad. It's not bad whatsoever. Now we're going to move on to the concealer and it's this one. <laughs> I'm nervous for this. I am so nervous. Okay, we're going to go in. And now we're going to just apply it underneath the eye area. Yeah, just like I thought. This is not going to be good for the under eye area. You know what's happening? The concealer is taking away all my foundation. I also picked up this, which is AOA Studio Sculpt FX Contour Stick. I'm so excited. I believe the last time I went, they didn't have this. So I am stoked for this. We're going to contour the face, of course. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the blender. I'm going to start blending everything out. First, I'm going to blend the concealer, and then we'll move on to the contour. All right, here we go. Now we're going to go in, and we're going to blend the contour. Oh, yes, this sponge. Did you see how easy that blended? And did you see how that little slant came through? Like it blended perfectly in there. Okay, so just like I expected, the concealer for the under area is no good, no bueno. For the eyebrows though, I'm going to keep on using this. Now the contour stick, I am a little surprised because this blended so easy. I love this. I'm definitely going to keep on using this to contour my nose, my cheekbones. Now we're going to move on to the powder. I've tested some of their powders and I wasn't a huge fan of them, you know. So now I saw this one, which I don't think I've ever tried this. This is the Santine Mineral Compact Powder. It's this one. And this one is in 01 Nude. Now I'm going to set my face in place with the powder and I'm kind of just swirling around with the sponge like this and we're going to set everything in place I know my under eye area is not going to look perfect and it's going to crease like crazy because the only powder that works for me is the Laura Mercier translucent powder literally this is what the powder looks like on the face. I feel like it looks really powdery in my face right now, but this is very typical when you apply a powder, like, oh my God, you look so, so powdery. But once you apply it with like setting spray, everything kind of just like melts into the skin. The powder for my under area, personally, I already know it's not going to work out for me. Everyone is very different though. My under area, I feel like it's the thing that I struggle with the most when it comes to my makeup. Like there's just that one powder that works for me, which is the Laura Mercier. But to set the face, I've used other powders very similar to this one to set the face. I don't think it's bad to set the face, honestly. I think it's pretty good for a freaking dollar. It's not bad. It even gives you a little bit more full coverage. So it gave me a little bit more of coverage. I don't think the powder is bad. I think for a dollar, it's pretty good. We're going to move on to matte bronzer. And this is the one that I found from Amuse Cosmetics. This one is in matte bronzer. It has quite some fallout. And we're going to start bronzing the skin. Oh, this smells so good. Wow, this smells like flowers. It literally smells like roses. That smells really nice. I'm going to bronze the skin. This bronzer is really nice. I feel like it's a really pretty shade. It doesn't look too muddy or anything like that. Okay, I'm gonna move on to blush and I have this Amuse Cosmetics Blush Duo. This is what it looks like. Oh my God. I was expecting this to be like that and it just like popped out and freaked the heck out of me But this is what the blushes look like. They look so beautiful. This is a blush duo guys I'm not quite sure what shade this is It doesn't tell me what shade it is. We're gonna move on with the blush I actually want to mix both of them together to see what color it gives me It has a little bit of shimmer to it Wow That is so pretty it gives you kind of like that highlight look, but it still looks like you have a little bit of blush going on. I love it. I feel like I did really good by mixing them. I don't think this is a blush and this is a highlight. It's a blush duo. I think mixing them together makes 
such a good combo like my skin in this area looks so radiant I'm living for this wow it's really nice it's really pigmented as you guys saw so a little bit goes a long way oh my god I think I just found my new favorite blush duo wow I'm so excited okay we're gonna move on to highlight now for highlight I'm going to be using the amuse cosmetics highlight duo which is the one that I use to set my eyeshadow and I'm thinking I'm going to just take a little bit of both as well let's just mix these two also That is really pretty. It's like very subtle, but it's really nice. Wow. I am so in love with this highlighter. It looks so nice. This is stunning. I am in love. I don't know what shade it is, but I'm pretty sure if you look on the website, you'll be able to find them. All right, for lips, I picked this up AOA Studio Wonder Lip Pencil Lip Liner in 2402 Nude. So we're going to go ahead and outline the lips with this. It's not applying for some reason. I've tried some lip liners before from Miss A and they worked really fine. I wonder if there's two different lip liners. The previous one I used really worked for me. Maybe we can try taking off the first layer and then let's go in now. Mm -mm. I'm still struggling with it. I don't know what happened. I don't know if there's two different kinds of lip liners. I'm going to figure that out because the other one, I remember, it worked perfectly for me. Now for lips, I have a couple products that I want to test out. So I have all of these lippies from Miss A. These are the new lipsticks that they just launched. They don't have a name. It just says AOA Studio. There's a couple of shades that I really want to test out. But I think I'm going to pick up this shade, which is Shore. And let's put it on the lips. Whoa, they are not creamy on the lips. Oh my God. You know what, let me take off the foundation. Hold on, maybe that's the issue. All right, I took off the concealer. Let me go in with the lip liner now. Oh, okay. It was a concealer. It was a concealer that was affecting the lip liner. So it's not the lip liner. It was the concealer. Oh my God. I was like, wait, that's weird. Last time I really liked them. Now we're going to go in with the lipstick again because maybe it was my foundation. Okay, now they're creamy. So definitely with these lippies, don't apply anything as a base, like no foundation and no concealer, anything like that because it won't glide on. All right guys, so this is what my makeup looks like. What do you guys think? I honestly don't think it looks bad for $1 makeup. Today's, you know, mission was to show you guys that you don't need to spend a crazy amount of money to make your makeup look good. You can just easily beat your face with $1 makeup products and no one will ever notice. You guys definitely saw the products that I was so shocked with and in love. And you guys saw the other products that I was kind of like, eh you know kind of iffy about i gave you guys my opinions and my review as we were going with the products but you guys will definitely notice what products i was like in love with but i don't think my makeup looks bad the only thing that for sure i don't like the velour eyeshadow and the mascara were kind of like mm, for me but you guys saw you guys can see that my eyeshadow is still creasing and i don't think it's the eyeshadow primer because the rest of my shadow looks pretty bomb very pigmented very vibrant the shadows blended beautiful they're still there it's just the situation that we have going on and i'm pretty sure it was because of this of the lower eyeshadow so don't recommend this but the rest of the products i was very shocked about it and i love them oh we have to do the test for the eyelash oh <gasps> they're not going anywhere come on miss a stepping it up such a good adhesive. That was like the final test I had to do. I genuinely think this is a dupe. So if you can never find this or you don't want to spend $4 on this, then just invest $1.88 in this one. I think it's basically a dupe. I think out of all the videos that I've done testing $1 makeup products, this is the first time that my makeup looks really good. And 
that I discovered a lot of new Holy Grail products that I really love. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be part of the family. If you liked today's video and you guys want to see more makeup videos, kind of like reviews and stuff like that, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. That lets me know that you guys like these videos and for me to film more. Also, don't forget to turn your post notifications. Hit the little bell so I can notify the next time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.